I bet you already think Sokka's Swordmaster is pretty cool. But he's much more than that. Pian Dao's secret canonical history proves he's a total badass. The son of two firebending prodigies, a young Pian Dao was abandoned by his parents due to his lack of bending. Raised in an orphanage, he found comfort in the arts, which helped ease the nervous nature he developed due to his neglect. Pian Dao initially focused on the meditative practices of painting and calligraphy after his 10th birthday. The boy discovered his passion and natural talent for swordsmanship. While continuing to refine his craft, Pian Dao joined the Fire Nation army and became a fierce warrior who never lost a single battle. Despite this KD ratio, he left the military after several years and traveled to the Four Nations. You might wonder why Pian Dao could live lavishly in Sujing, while his fellow army deserter and White Lotus member Zhang Zhang had to constantly live on the run. Well, that's because when the Fire Nation army showed up at his doorstep, Master Pian Dao single-handedly killed all 100 soldiers who'd been sent to arrest him. The army never bothered him again. Pian Dao's legacy and style were passed on through his esteemed students. Oh, and his butler's name is Fat. But anyway, 